This video is brought to you by Ghost in the Shell First Assault. Hey everyone, Dash here, and we're going to take a magical journey to a special place. But you must remember to be at least level 30 to play the Nuka World DLC. And this is the most difficult DLC by far. Are you finished wasting my time, you filthy lowlife scabber? So, you better come prepared. After you hear the radio call, head to the far west side of the map near Sunshine Tidings Co-op. This was my initial base camp from my Nuka World expedition in survival mode. Leave the edge of the map and fight off the other raiders and scavengers who also followed the radio message. Nuka World is broken into different areas. Nuka Town, that's where you start, and you have the heads of each gang living there, and the market is in the center. You'll get quests for each of the gangs, and it is up to you to decide which gang to help and which to end. There's also a mission from the slaves of Nuka Town to overthrow the evil oppressors, the Raiders. Now, that's only if you're feeling nice, though. We do all the work, then the gangs reap the rewards. Pretty sweet setup, at least for you. Eventually, you'll find the power plant and restore power to the park, but at first, you must clear out the five main areas of the park. The Galactic Zone houses the Vault Tech and Roboco exhibits, as well as the Starlight Interstellar Theatre, the Nuka Galaxy and Starport Nuka areas. Dry Rock Gulch is Western themed and houses Doc Phosphate Salon, Dry Gulch Theatre, Mad Mulligan's Minecart Coaster, but do avoid the employee area and beware of the bloodworms. The Safari Adventure area has Cappy's Treehouse as well as Reptile and Primate House. Ghoulify Gorillas and Gator Claw lurk in this part of the park. The Kitty Kingdom is the house to the Ferris Wheel, Fun House, King Cola's Castle, and a bunch of ghouls, led by non-feral ghoul Oswald the Magician. Complete his quest for a unique hat and a sword, or just kill him and take the whole outfit. The world of refreshment is the Nuka Cola manufacturing plant. Long-term exposure to the process has created Nuka Lurks, led by the Deadly Queen. Outside the park proper, you'll find Barberton Estate, the Morton Residence, a Red Rocket, and the Overpass. There is also a camp of religious zealots, called Hubologists, who can align your Zeta Rays. The Grandchester Mystery Mansion guides you room to room, telling the story of a young girl possessed by evil. <laughs> there is even an old shovel museum overrun with super mutants. A shovel museum! You begin your journey at the Gauntlet, a place where different raiders have come together to construct something that will most likely kill you. If you don't have sneak two or three, you'll need to keep your eyes peeled for traps. And they're everywhere. There is an arena at the center of the maze. You must fight the overboss, Colter, use the thirst zapper to win the day and the job of overboss of Nuka World. The Nuka Town is controlled by three gangs, the Disciples, the Operators, and the Pack. In addition to keeping the gangs happy, you must clear the rest of the park and lay claim to the areas by planting the flag of one of the factions. Once you have complete control of the park, you can take your Raider gang into the Commonwealth and take over settlements, even the ones you already control. And then you get to leave the Raider thug life, run settlements in a totally different way, establish more Raider settlements and level up Wasteland Warlord perk, which allows you to build more Raider structures. Now with the job of Overboss comes a sweet crib at the Fizz Top Grill, along with some unique Raider armor, obviously called Overboss. The torso has a legendary effect of causing electrical damage to nearby enemies. Your helper in the Overboss fight is your new companion, Porter Gage. Gain max affinity with him by doing what Raiders like most, killing and stealing. He doesn't mind you using Jet or most drugs, but hates when you use Mentats. Once you have maxed out his affinity, you receive the perk Lessons in Blood, which increases XP from kills 5% and a whopping plus 10 damage resistance. Each of the different gangs have a faction perk for raising your standing in the gang, and you can't get all three, but you can have two at the same time. 
Ace Operator, increases stealth and silence weapon damage. Chosen Disciple restores action points with melee kills, and Pack Alpha increases damage and resistance when unarmed or using melee. Nuka World DLC brings us a proper assault rifle, and that in itself is very exciting. You know, one that actually looks like the Icon. This Wasteland AK knockoff fires 7.62mm rounds and has the standard modifications you'll see with rifles, except now there is a rifleman requirement for sniper mods, a commando perk block for automatic parts, and you'll need the big league perk for bash enhancing mods. There are four paint options, standard, as well as three other options, one for each of the gangs in Nuka World. Now this is a fast rifle and could replace my 45 rifle, except in survival because the ammo is slightly heavier at 0.035. Now, there is a unique handmade rifle called the Problem Solver that you can buy from the Nuka Town Market or get from the pack leader with a few successful speech checks. Disciples prefer a knife so they can get up close and personal when they kill. The Disciples knife requires the big league perk to modify and can be upgraded to hacking blade, knife, or combine both into the cutlass. The first sapper you got in the gauntlet arena only fires water until you get the mod that allows you to fire Nuka Cola that causes radiation damage, Nuka Cherry that causes small explosions, and Nuka Quantum that causes nuclear explosions. The paddle ball is a funny little weapon. You can upgrade with electricity and spikes, then eventually weaponize Nuka Cola itself. There are five new magazines to find called SCAV. They increase speech success 25% to combat knife and switch blade damage, plus 10% hand to hand weapon damage, increase 5% explosives damage, and boost strength and endurance the less caps you have. There is a new drug Smooth Operator, which gives plus three to charisma and 10% better bartering. There are up two new new unique power armors, and no, there aren't paint jobs like the knockoff Vim Cola, but unique pieces that cannot be painted. The Nuka Cola T51 power armor set increases agility 3 when all six pieces are worn, and you can find it in the World of Refreshment exhibit. The Quantum X01 power armor increases action point refresh speed with all pieces equipped, and you must collect enough star cores to repair the star control exhibit to unlock this armor. Each of the gangs has their own armor and clothing. The disciples wear a wrapped metal or spiked armor with helmets to match. The operators have two versions of heavy armor, as well as belted and some fancy suits to match. The pack, well... They're crazy. From insane hats to furry pants, they have three types of armor, regular, bone, or stuffed animal reinforced. You can get regular spacesuit as well as the Nuka Girl rocket suit that grants ability to breathe underwater and adds plus one to charisma. Find this on the mannequin in Nuka Galaxy. There are two cowboy outfits, one in cattle print and the other in a stylish orange. The magician's tuxedo reduces damage from humans as well as adding one to charisma and endurance. This goes perfect with Oswald's top hat, which, milady, increases movement speed whilst adding one to perception and charisma. There are Nuka World t-shirts and souvenir outfits. You can get the cappy glasses from an old friend from the Capital Waste. Sierra Petrovita runs her own Nuka Cola museum. Now find her in Nuka Town and convince her to let you help locate all the cappy images throughout the park. Find them all and you'll meet the creator of Nuka Cola, John Caleb Bradburton. I spent years collecting all the Nuka Cola merchandise I could find. There are new modifications for your robots found in the park and you can add Galactron Spacehead, Nukatron Torso, and Space Sentry Legs. The arm weapon can be fitted for weaponized versions of Nuka Cola, and there are new Nuka Cola flavors to be enjoyed. Other than Cherry and Quantum, there's also Quartz, Victory, Wild, and Dark. They have fun new effects. You can use a Nuka mixer station, and that allows you to combine Nuka Colas into new recipes with great effects and zero rads. Collect all 14 additional recipes scattered throughout the park. There are four achievements for completing the story missions, Taken for a Ride, The Grand Tour, Home Sweet Home, and Power Play. Rating for a Living is awarded for completing 12 Raider Quests. Dibrarian is given for collecting all five SCAV magazines. 
The Beverager is received if you create 20 different flavors of Nuka Cola. Hostile Takeover is had for establishing eight raider camps in the Commonwealth. All sugared up is achieved when you defeat 40 Nuka World creatures whilst under the effects of Nuka Mix flavor. And eyes on the prize is awarded when you redeem 100,000 tickets at Nuka Cade. There's a ton of stuff we didn't get into. Rad rats, ghoul-based furniture, weird vault tech experiments, and more that I haven't discovered. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to try and bring peace and order to your nuclear world and commonwealth, or just burn it to the ground Raider style. This has been Dash for Curse saying thanks for watching and enjoy the game. This video was brought to you by Ghost in the Shell First Assault. Play the open beta now on Steam. To find out more about this game, check out the videos on the left or visit firstassaultgame.com.